Ashton, career high, 165 yards on Saturday. Came in a tough loss, though. Uh, what's what's the feeling in the locker room with your teammates after a loss like that? But you mm -hmm. still have stuff to play with, play for the rest of the season. How, how's everyone doing? All right, uh, you know, a loss like that, uh, you know, no one likes that likes that feeling, you know. But uh, but we got good as a team, as a group. Uh, you know, that night, we flushed it that night. You know, um, I got a saying, or I was telling everybody, uh, flush it tonight, work tomorrow. So, um, you know, the game is over with pretty much. Nobody's pretty much thinking about the game. You know, we just moving forward to the next day, practice the next day, and getting ready for this week. And you know, we've heard Coach say after losses, sometimes you need to get punched in the mouth mm -hmm. to, to remember where you're at. And, and do, you, do you think that happened? Do you think this team needed a little bit of humbling to remember that there's – some some season left. Mm, well, uh, I wouldn't say we needed a little bit of humbling. I mean, I do agree with that statement. Um, I don't think um, anyone's here is like you know big head or anything. You know, um, you know we play a, a lot of really good teams. As, as like Coach Kenny said, the season can go anyway. Uh, anyway, um, you know we've played some teams to where um, maybe others didn't think we should have won, but we won. Play some uh, games where a lot of people thought we should have won, but we didn't win. But it all comes down to execution. So like. Um, you know, the more we execute, the the better we'll be as a group, and the more games I can see us win. We have a, a real good group, um, a good group of talented kids, whether it's um, on the offensive side or the defensive side. So I just feel like the execution part, we get that down packed, and we'll be a, a great team. You know, 165 yards last week. Do, do you feel like you're you're really hitting your stride despite it being so late in the season? Like getting comfortable with this mm. offense. Do you think you're 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 really really getting in the groove? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like I'm uh, I'm in the groove. Um, you know, the 165 yard game. That that to my opinion, it comes down to the O line. You know, without them, TJ wouldn't be able to get the ball off. So um, a huge congrats, a huge shout out to the O line. Um, and also goes down to the coaches as well, putting me in a um, perfect position to be able to get 165 yards, you know, and um, the trust is there and stuff like that. So um, it just all comes down to, like like I said, the O-line being able to let TJ get the ball out in time and, you know, putting me in the right position to be able to make plays and stuff like that. So I feel like I've not reached my peak, but <laughs> I'm getting there. You know, it seems like you, Joey, Cole, and then we can throw in Connor Fox, Fox yeah. kind of form a little – cohesive little uh, rod receiver unit. Just how's this group kind of progressed from week one all the way to as we hit hit the final regular season game? Right. Uh, so like no matter no matter the outcome, win, lose, or draw, every day um, this is a game of football. We all have one goal, which is you know to make it to the league or whatever. And to make it to the league, you got to be able to put work in every day. So like I say, no matter win, lose, or draw, once we come back to practice that Sunday is uh, next week. Let's work. Um, we never take a day off, so um, every day we all just come to work as far as if it's getting better at running a routes or getting better at reading something of the defense and stuff like that, you know? You know, just looking at the South Alabama defense, Coach is saying, like, really sound a unit. Just looking at the film from mm -hmm. your perspective, what do you think? What are you seeing from this South Alabama defense? Uh, they're real, uh, like like Coach said, a real aggressive team. Uh, don't seem like they make many errors and stuff like that. They're real coachable, so. Um, like I say, as, as long as we come out and execute and play our game, it should be, you know, blow them out the water, in my opinion. You know, obviously very big game. Not only is it senior night game being broadcast mm -hmm. on NFL Network, night game too. I know everyone lo loves the night games down mm -hmm. here. Just uh, what's it going to take to get to get that seventh win, you know, uh, most wins in the season since 2014? Uh, it's going to take all 11 guys, uh, pretty much meaning once when we're in play, it's going to take all 11 guys to uh, do their job pretty much. And, and nine times out of ten, when you got the whole team doing their job, it, the game could go your way possibly. But, you know, if we just come out and just play hard and uh, not focus on if the ref is giving us this call or not focusing on this person pulling on me and doing all this after the play, just go out there, execute, do your job for that one play. Anything happens at, uh, during that one play, move on, go to the next. And if we can get that down packed, then that seven win would be in the bag for sure.